Returning now to our COVID-19 coverage, let's take a look at the pandemic numbers across the country where health officials say the virus has been leveling out in several provinces thanks to physical me distancing measures. Manitoba, New Brunswick and Newfoundland and Labrador once again have no new cases today. Quebec still leading the country in cases, reporting 83 new deaths, bringing the provincial total to almost 1,700. The province is also reporting over 25,000 confirmed cases. Now, as our Nigel Newlove tells us, the spread of the COVID-19 cases begins to slow down. New projections show that more deaths are still expected across the country. The predicted number of deaths due to COVID-19 could be in the range of 3,300 to 3,900 by May the 5th. Canada's chief public health officer releasing new modeling, revealing more Canadians are dying of COVID-19 than previously expected. That as the increase in new transmissions begins to slow. We are observing slowed epidemic growth and a leveling off of epidemic trajectories across most jurisdictions in Canada. For nearly two months now, Canadians have been struggling physically, mentally and financially because of COVID-19. Seniors have been hardest hit, making up nearly 80% of all COVID-related deaths. Millions of other Canadians are out of work and businesses are on the brink of disaster. But these new numbers do offer hope. Last time I presented this graph to you, Canada's confirmed case count was doubling every three to five days. At this time, the doubling... Uh, the number of cases is doubling at a rate of every 16 days. TAM's numbers are based on different precautionary scenarios comparing outcomes under strict safety measures to lax ones. She says in order for the COVID-19 pandemic to die out, we need to get to the point where each infected person is only transmitting the virus to less than one other person. Stronger controls, including physical distancing, increased testing to identify and isolate cases, and trace and quarantine contacts are helping to reduce the average number of people each case infects to just above one. Despite the flattening of the curve, Tam warns that relaxing restrictions now could be catastrophic and whatever easing of regulations is ordered should be gradual. We could see a second wave that is even bigger than the first. While Tam delivered her update, MPs held their first virtual meeting meant to replace a regular sitting of Parliament. In Ottawa, Nigel Newlove, City News.